that you um, sent home, but or I guess that was printed in the paper at home. Yeah. But tell, the, tell me about when you got your Silver Star. Well, we were in battle and uh, there's a pillbox opened up on us and uh, we had two machine guns set up and uh, one of them, the gunner on it, left the gun and uh, looked like they was going to overrun us and uh, I told him to that I'd just take it since he left the gun and uh, fired on a pillbox and uh, we took a number of prisoners out of it then. And, uh, about how many? Uh, about 18 or 20 I think. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else about the war that you can remember that'd be interesting? Well we had a little fella in our outfit that couldn't talk plain and uh, there's we was moving hard and uh, he was tired and wanted to drop out and we told him he, we had to go we didn't want stragglers that he'd fall behind well, no telling what had happened to him and he finally says I'll go but I refuse to fight <laughs> <laughs> poor little thing well, this is an article that was in the paper when Daddy got his Silver Star, and it reads, Staff Sergeant Horace Jenkins, who recently was awarded the Silver Star for gallantry in action. He is the son of Mr. and Mrs. J.M. Jenkins of Route 1 Midland, and before entering the service was employed in the Hugh Gray Hosiery Mill in Concord. Sergeant Jenkins' citation reads, Headquarters, 91st Infantry Division, United States Army, APO 91, AG 200.6, December 16, 1944, subject, award of Silver Star, to Staff Sergeant Horace B. Jenkins, 344-36417, Infantry, United States Army, under the provisions of Army Regulation 645, as amended, you are awarded the Silver Star for gallantry in action. Citation. Horace B. Jenkins, and it gives, I guess that's your serial number? Yeah. Staff Sergeant Infantry, United States Army, for gallantry in action on September 16, 1944, near Scarp Scarperia. Scarperia. Scarperia, Italy. Staff Sergeant Jenkins' squad had the mission of delivering neutralizing fire on a strongly defended enemy pillbox which was threatening to hold up an attack. It was necessary to move the machine gun to a position which was highly exposed in order to obtain a suitable field of fire. After his squad had helped him move the weapon into place, Staff Sergeant Jenkins ordered his men to leave the dangerous area and then single-handedly put the gun into action. When the attack jumped off, Staff Sergeant Jenkins stayed at his position delivering such an intense volume of fire that the enemy pillbox was made ineffective and the attack was able to continue. Suddenly, a pillbox on Staff Sergeant Jenkins' left flank opened fire, wounding several men in an advancing platoon and made, making it necessary for the rest to make a temporary withdrawal. A safe withdrawal was impossible unless this pillbox was neutralized. So Staff Sergeant Jenkins dragged the machine gun to the foot of the knoll he was occupying, set it up single-handedly, and delivered such well-placed neutralizing and covering fire that the platoon safely maneuvered to better positions. Although wounded by enemy fire, he remained at his post until ordered back. Staff Sergeant Jenkins' outstanding devotion to duty Exemplary conduct under fire and inspiring leadership were an inspiration to his comrades and exemplify the finest traditions of the infantry and the United States Army. Entered military service from Midland, North Carolina. And it's by William G. Livesey? Livesey. Livesey Commanding. Commanding General. And that was the article in the paper. Yeah, I did remember something funny. We was moving up one night.